Oh, <laughs> he's like, help me, gay. He's like, I'm a little afraid. I don't want to be by his back. Like, oh my God. <laughs> he's like, ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm out. Girl, that ain't gonna get you laid. <laughs> Alright. So this is her in her stall. She used to scream and then come over and pee. And uh, she's like, I'm not doing it while that lady's there. So again, you can't control what happens when you're not here, but you can control what happens while you are here. It's like being a parent. So if she was misbehaving, and we would just get after her. And this horse was, was super friendly and tempted her last time. Because I was kind of seeing if she would do it with mares and geldings. And she did it with everybody. But now, she's like, no way, Jose. I am not getting in trouble today. Hi, hey, Darissa with Majestic Rider. So today I'm here with a mare who likes the geldings a little bit too much. So sometimes when she's on the ground, she doesn't do it in her saddle. But on the ground, she'll give a little scream and then turn. So I'm, what I'm going to do is bring her up to all these geldings and then put some pressure on her when she acts up into the air or screams or anything. get another mare in that's really flirty, I can show you with her, but mares, these mares are so smart and figure things out so quick that they can do it once and then they're like, yeah, I got it, I'm not going to do that anymore. So I'll show you, I do have a video of what she did and she would just turn around and put her butt and kind of rub her butt against the paddock. And so what I've been doing is taking her up to geldings and mares because they will do it with both sometimes. And if she would twitch an ear, if she would give a little, like a little squeal, or it looked like she was going to turn around, I would wave this stick at her, okay? You can always hit the paddock. You don't have to hit the horse, so you can hit the paddock. You're just trying to create some unwanted energy that they don't like. You can use a flag, you could use a bag, you could pop something. Any noise you think your horse doesn't like or any motion, that's what you do when you ride them. My microphone on. You want to make sure you're far enough away so have a long rope because you don't want to get kicked or reared up on by accident. So keep your room, keep their butt kind of facing away from you, and then have a stick that's long enough so you don't have to get very close to the horse to actually correct it, okay? So you can send them, you know, if you have something like this where it's uh, pipe stalls, you can move your horse up to them and then just keep going up and down the aisle and reprimanding them when they're misbehaving. You can do the same thing when you're on them if they keep peeing on other horses. But you have to bring enough energy up that the horse won't ignore you and won't sit there and keep peeing. It's best to practice this when you're alone and you have time, not when you're with your friends and you're on a trail ride and the horse won't go. Get it fixed at home first, so practice walking the horse around and doing it then do it under saddle. She doesn't do anything under saddle, but some horses do. They will stop and pee on other horses or run into other horses trying to get their attention. So you want to correct that at home where you have people you can work with and then do it out on the trail. It'll work much better. But there are many mares that they're not nasty. They're just a little too flirty. 
and you want to correct that because you don't want to be running into other people. Other people don't want your horse peeing on their horse, and that's what the mares do. So you just want to correct it, work on it over and over again. Now you can give them things such as regimate and hormones and other things you can talk to your vet about it, but a lot of it is just behavior and the horse learning that they shouldn't do that. And the way you do that is you just make it uncomfortable. When they do something like that, give them something worse to do. Give them some more work. Give them some pressure. You know, use a flag, use a bag, anything they don't like. Bring Chucky the Clown out. And I bet you their behavior will get much better. Okay, so sorry she didn't misbehave. She's cured now. It just has to be kept up. But you can see very quickly in one day she was totally fine.